First of all, it's K R Z Y Z E W S K I. And uh, if you think that's bad, it was a lot worse before I changed it. Well, I know you like to look forward to you know, no rearview mirror, but I want to just take you back for a second to, to March 18th, 1980. Do you remember what you made your first year? Well, they offered me the job, and I accepted. And, and what was her first you know, question was, how much are we going to make? And I said, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I made 40000 I make a lot of money now. We didn't get in this for that. And uh, we've done what we've loved uh, for a lifetime. <laughs> Does it feel any different to you knowing that it's your, your last year coaching at Duke? You know, it, uh, I don't think of it that way. I will say this, that when we had our exhibition game, and it was the first time we lined up for the national anthem, I got a little emotional. That's not where my head is at, but I'm, I'm sure that uh, the situations that I'll be in throughout the season, some of them will evoke uh, that type, but I don't want to go there. Nice, nice, nice. Good. That's right, three. Why is John Shire the right coach for this job to succeed you? And, and what did you mean by succession, almost in a military way, to be able to train Coach Shire as he takes this over? Yeah, succession is part of what you uh, are taught in the military, because if you have a command, it's usually for a year, maybe a year and a half, sometimes two. But it's never yours completely. But uh, John's been with me since his ninth year. He's only 34. And if this was a year or two years ago, I'm not sure that I would have gone along because he wasn't ready then. He's, he's really ready. How have his duties been different knowing that he's taken over next year? I think the main difference is in the recruiting. In June, when you walk in those gyms to watch kids play, probably the first time he walked in, they were saying, where's Coach K? Then they stopped saying that. And then they said, that's Duke's head coach next year. Williams rolls to the rim and finishes with two hands. This year's team, I know you're long, yeah. you're athletic, you're going to be big and physical, but how, how do you see this team? Yeah, playing? a quick-paced team. You know, we're, uh, we shouldn't have many shot clock violations. And a, a team that plays pretty good defense. The Champions Classic has become a, a great event for college basketball. It's at Madison Square Garden this year. You've had a great history as a player and as a coach at the Garden. What has what Madison Square Garden meant to, to Coach K? Well, it's a magical place. Anytime I'm there, I consider it like one of the ultimate honors. The ball bounces differently, the sounds. Outside of Cameron, it's my favorite place. It's a Mecca. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.